Hey guys, Dr. Gooden here with Chris Dunsmore. We're just getting a training session in at Convoy Strength. Uh, it's pretty fun. We have our whole team here, right? So myself, Chris, we've got Garrett Blevins, John Hack, and Huang. Uh, we have Bud, he's on our team as well. Mike, Mike T. Mike T, of course. Can't forget Save Mike the best T. for last. Um, yeah, so we're just getting a training session in together, meeting with the team in person. The really cool thing about this, for me anyways, is that you know, I study this stuff, I, I read the literature, I teach it in the classroom, but to be amongst these specimens, I'll say, uh, is, is special for me. It's really cool to see what the limits um, or the near limits of human physiology are capable of. Um, and then with Chris as well, you know, we're able to uh, take these guys back to the lab and also Chris back to the lab and actually uh, you know measure some of their characteristics what's the muscle architecture what's the force output during these lifts um, you know these insanely huge lifts that they're performing so fun to get the applied training process in like to be there when they're grinding it out and then also to get them into that controlled lab setting as well so Dr. Gooden is my mentor for my PhD research and one of the really cool things about having him is that we are doing um, applied research in uh, a relevant setting. So uh, a lot of the research uh, will be done in a laboratory and sometimes it doesn't really uh, pan out to a real world setting. So it's really cool that we have the ability to work with some of the top power lifters in the world, uh, kind of analyze some of their performance measurements uh, to really kind of take that uh, step to the next level. Yeah, and with Chris included, we actually just completed, uh, yes. well not completed, we completed collecting data on a little case study uh, with Chris's run up to uh, the World Championships in South Africa. So we'll be talking about that soon as well, although um, as you know, research is a slow process, so parsing through that data, getting that uh, published will take, take some time, but stay tuned for that. We're hoping for more of that, more of that case study type approach because it's so hard to get so many elite level individuals together at once, but that's part of what we're trying to do as a team here is to get these elite humans in strength sports in so we can study them as a group. Involved in research, so we're hoping that this uh product is going to kind of bridge a gap between science and application in particularly in powerlifting uh, and then hopefully other sports as well. Got some squats, um, take some back off, I'll probably hit a triple and see how that feels, RPE 8 and then some back off work. I think I might use the belt squat since I'm here and it's here. Uh, weighted chin ups, that's good. Hit. My, my strength definitely took a hit. I was focusing more on the endurance side of things. Trained for a 5K. Um, got my mile time down a little bit. It's real close to five, but switching back over. It was hard, really tough to maintain that strength that I gained. So just working back up to it. Um, squats, squats up for the most in that concurrent training. Uh, the quads just took a beating with all of that mileage that I was racking up. So, you know, getting back into it. Pulls still feel strong. Honestly, I went to play it by ear. I uh, irritated my shoulder the other day, so uh, I'm just honestly going to work up to a weight that doesn't hurt. Uh, and what that is, is get to be determined. Yeah, no, I... 
You don't need a PhD to know that that's damn strong. Yeah, so I hit my squats, uh, worked up to a heavy double for me right now at 140. Uh, so strength has suffered a little bit with all the endurance stuff that I've been doing, but that's one of the cool things about uh, training uh, in a similar style to how Mike T coaches with uh, the reactive training, where you're working up to a heavy double or triple, you're ranking it with your RPE, and then based on that, you scale your back offsets. Uh, based on what you're hitting for that day. So it's like another layer of auto-regulation. Of course, you have your, your daily readiness score, but then also layering this in as a tangible performance outcome to help adjust your training day to day. And so for me, being able to track that over time and see trends, um, A, it's fun because I like spreadsheets and numbers and data, uh, but B, it just gives me like a really good, solid, here's where you are in your training process. You don't have to wait to test. You don't have to go do a big RPE 10 set necessarily because you see your RPE eight and nine sets over the course of time. And if you keep those consistent, you keep the training stimuli really consistent with all the variables uh, fairly similar, the only adjustment being the weight that you can lift on any given day. So I'm currently in an, an off season, more of like a, a rehab program. Um, so I'm mostly just trying to focus on increasing uh, volume and speed work. Uh, without actually increasing the load because it seems that uh, after a certain load it starts to get a little irritated so right now I'm just kind of trying to uh, build up that threshold so it's the boring stuff unfortunately but it'll be worth it in the long run so that's my goal is like the long-term benefits of what I'm doing right now wait yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never so a danger area there That belt's way more comfy than the one we have. <laughs> So, just finished my workout, uh, nothing too crazy, like I said, uh, I'm kind of currently uh, in a, a rehab focus program. So the goal is to obviously get healthy, number one, so that I can come back uh, stronger than ever. So with that said, I don't have any meets coming up. Uh, ideally, if things do go well, I would like to compete at uh, Powerlifting America national which is in february 23 but of course that's gonna be tentative on how i'm feeling uh so yeah now i'm ready to go eat all right guys just wrapped up the workout um good session fun training here at convoy strength really good environment and good crew too it's uh you know it's it's good to be able to train uh with these guys and with kristen as well uh, because when we're trying to study powerlifters you know we, we need a different setup than when we're looking at uh, gen pops. Uh, for instance, with our force platforms, we're having to build a specific platform just to put the force plates in uh, to be able to handle the weight. Uh, we have to build on top of our subfloor so that you know the deadlift bar doesn't crash through the floor as well. So just looking at things like that. Um, also, of course, training here at Convoy is awesome because we have all the equipment. At our uh, university facility, we have bumper plates meant for collegiate strength levels. So. Uh, perhaps partnering with Convoy, being able to bring our equipment here, which is um, is portable enough, uh, is a you know that's a great relationship that we can start to establish. So we can come here to where the strong people are, so we can study them. But yeah, great uh, hanging out with John and Andy and the rest. Uh, we'll have them in the lab soon, and uh, you guys will see it here. Inspiration brings us closer to greatness. It provides us with the strength we need to evolve. Evolve AI is built for one thing.
your evolution. Our AI-powered app customizes and adjusts your workout based on fitness level, fatigue, and feedback, so you can optimize your training and generate results faster. Our innovative training system is backed by research, designed by industry-leading coaches, tested by world-class athletes, and supercharged by artificial intelligence. Greatness lives inside all of us, no matter who we are or where we come from. All it takes is the inspiration to find it. Unlock your potential. Evolve AI.